for five plus years, this tale was my heartbeat. And not just mine. Echo comprised the core of our family. We had full hearts and a full couch. But then Echo died. And what did we have then? A void where my heart once resided and a couch we simply could not fill anymore. It seemed no matter how hard we tried, nothing could replace what we'd lost. I did my best to embrace the sadness and face each day as best I could. But still, I retreated to that empty place where Echo used to live. A place for him and no one else. It felt good to hold on to that emptiness, to reserve a scarred part of my heart just for him. But then I met a puppy, a big-footed, dopey puppy, who reminded me that we cannot reserve love. We cannot secret it away. We either use it or we lose it. It wasn't easy, but we each made the decision to give our love for Echo to zero, to share our inheritance with him. We removed the reserved sign from Echo's couch cushion and we offered it up to zero. And don't worry, Penny made sure he really earned his place. Slowly, the world started to feel right again. Not right as in fixed, but right as in headed in the right direction. Being silly, going on adventures, taking risks, and accepting the consequences, such as a bit of excited pee on the couch. Then cleaning it all up to sleep and begin again. That's what I've noticed since opening my heart this past year. Time is a circle, and we travel the same pass over and over. We see patterns and grooves in the world. Be it with old friends, new friends, or new old friends. But what does it mean? What are we to make of the repetition? I like to think it means we get a better chance of getting things right. A better chance to start a new story with an open heart. To understand love is connected across generations and across species. As Lincoln grows and Zero watches over him, another dog watches over all of us. Echo is with us always, so I've given his collar to Zero as a reminder of that fact. A reminder to carry that spirit of loving adventure wherever we go. A reminder we must not fall prey to our fears. We must face them, and we must send them running. The collar is a reminder to give each day more love and joy than the one that came before it, no matter how hard that is to do sometimes. The collar reminds us to find the things that make our hearts sore, and then share them freely with others. If not, then what's the point? Echo's been gone a year today, but not a day goes by that I don't see him in these faces. As my son grows, he'll come to know this inheritance. That no matter what, there's always room for one more on the couch and one more in your heart.